Good morning, everyone. I'm Mrs Woodward, the Head of Art here at CFS. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about art and design at GCSE, because obviously it's year nine's options. So let's dive in and see whether or not art and design is the right option for you. Why do we love our subject? We love art because it is about the freedom of expression and self-discovery. Art is a very well-rounded skill that teaches you so much more than simply how to paint or draw. It teaches skills that can be transferable into many careers. One in five careers now require some form of creative thinking. So art provides you with broad skills that you can take with you as you go on into um, further education, A-levels, uh, college or the world of work. It teaches you confidence in expression, um, to make bold decisions, to make mistakes and be resilient and grow from them, how to develop ideas and seeing those ideas through to the end. These are all valuable skills. At GCSE Art, you will develop your skills in drawing and painting. You will look at textiles, photography, mixed media, ceramics and printmaking if you wish to. You'll build your knowledge on artists, art history, variety of techniques and processes. Uh, we will help you to understand how to make art, use art, communicate your ideas, meet success criteria and how to bring these ideas into existence. So yes, you do have to evidence drawing and painting, but then there is freedom to move on and explore all the mediums that you want to and that you're interested in. We want you to find your thing. Some students find that drawing is their skill, others find their skill set lies in painting or textiles. You have to remember that a skill is something that we are not born able to do. It is developed and we practice over time and that is where progress is made. No one is born able to draw, ride a bike, swim, kick a football, dance. All of these abilities are something that we have learned and refined over time and that is what art is as well. It is less about necessarily your ability to draw or paint and more about your ability to take an idea and turn it into art and you will have support from subject specialists and resources available in the department such as the light boxes to really help you develop those skills. So at the start of year 10, you'll be given four assessment objectives and you need to meet the success criteria for each of the four objectives to the best of your ability. Your GCSE is split into two components. Component one is any coursework and this is 60% of your overall grade and component two is your exam in year 11 and this makes up 40% of your overall grade. Um, your coursework obviously starts from year 10, whether this is in sketchbook, canvases, sculptures, scale models, digital art. How you present your work is up to you and is part of your journey and will all be marked as part of component one. Component two, the exam paper, you're given this in the January of year 11. You're given roughly seven themes or starting points to choose from and then you choose the starting point that you're interested in that you'd like to explore. And then you begin planning a response towards a final piece. So you have about four months to plan and prepare for your actual exam, which takes place around about May. So you'll be very prepared for the exam itself. So in school, you'll be taught by myself and Miss Distant. Um, you will work mostly in sketchbooks to record your ideas. But as these ideas develop, uh, you might decide that you want to work on larger scale canvases um, different surfaces and techniques, which is all absolutely fine. Uh, and you'll have support uh, from us to do that. There are lots of sort of apps that you can download for free if it's digital that you wanted to explore. There is an element of independent study required. Um, so you will be given homework to complete at home and you can also attend workshops or session sixes or lunchtime clubs all available for GCSE students at school. So that's it from me. If you have any questions at all, feel free to come and have a chat with myself or Miss Diston. We would be more than happy to have a conversation with you about the course itself and how it works and wish you all the best of luck in choosing your options.